government on earth is some trace of human weakness, some germ of corruption and degeneracy, which cunning will discover, and wickedness ins insensibly open, cultivate and improve. Every government degenerates when trusted to the rulers of the people alone. The people themselves, therefore, are its only safe depositories. I thought that fit very well with uh, all the things that we are dealing with today. So I want to emphasize that we need to let the market work. We need to let the people choose. We need to do as the founders. We need to trust the people just as they did. To sum it up and put it simply, I truly believe that freedom works. And I want to set the states free. I want the United States of America to once again be a republic. And I sincerely, with all of my heart, believe that this is the only hope for our alien republic. Okay, and now we're going to uh, take a few questions from the audience. And uh, as you've heard me say before, uh, ask. Uh, whatever you feel is an appropriate question regarding uh, someone's background, um, their resume, their stance on issues, etc. Uh, but please remember, this is not a debate. We're all friends here. We're all fellow Republicans. And uh, this is just about uh, seeing some fine candidates and giving you the opportunity to hear from them up close and personal. So uh, I'll let uh, each candidate can Pick whoever they, they want from the audience. Put your hand up. If you have a question, we'll ask you to identify yourself. We have a couple of people running your mics, uh, Dr. Moorhead and Alboda, and they'll come to you with the mic and you can answer your question. Please, please keep them brief to the point, though, also. Thank you. I get to pick. So much responsibility. Uh, well, let's go in front of me. Can I just ask them? job Akron uh, education well-spoken and Thank you. you say wonderful things sells very well and uh, most people in the room certainly agree with all I think that you're saying especially the founding fathers the principles of the country now okay we're gonna vote for your people that have those views to win though how do you transition that to all the people who are now relying on the government for money for jobs, for support, and my honest opinion for you and the other guys that are here, that's the key to us winning. We are a shrinking group, and the expanding group with their handout, have need, they need to have a very strong and uh, compelling reason to change. And I'd love to hear you think about that, and if you have any thoughts, I'd love to hear them. Well, I believe the question was, how do we make the uh, transition from uh, a lot of the entitlement programs that we have now, and how do we uh, how do we talk to these people and yes. convince them that uh, there's a more responsible way? If yes. I get the gist of your question, that's a good question because I was just asked uh, that the other day, um, mm -hmm. and it's it's going to be a hard road to do because a lot of people do depend on these things. And one thing that uh, I want to make clear, and I think a lot of people uh, that uh, agree with me on on these programs uh, would agree with, is that we're not looking to pull the rug out of people, out from under people. People that are relying on these things, they're going to continue to need it for a time. But what we need to do is we need to create a, a favorable economic picture where people have jobs. First, the first step we need to take is to make the economy friendlier to the jobs so that there isn't a need so much for these entitlement programs. And one thing I want to emphasize too is that I believe there's a real difference between uh, these entitlement programs operating at the federal level as opposed to the state level. And what I mean by that is, uh, constitutionally, I don't think there's any room uh, for these entitlement programs to operate. But if, it's, let's take Ohio for instance, if the state of Ohio itself 
feels that there is a need for these entitlement programs for unemployment, for welfare, fill in the blank there, then the people of Ohio, it's well and good to go ahead and do that. And if, again, speaking of ideas, if they have an idea on how to make this, make those programs fiscally sound and responsible, then we can implement those things. You know, certainly, certainly we're looking for ways, we want to continue to have ways to help people that are, that are in need. But, um, but I don't want it to be mistaken that, that uh, I'm advocating, you know, like I said, pulling the rug out from any of these people. So, so at the state level, you know, if we can find solutions to those things, that's the place to do it. Let's go way in the back. We all know that there is a lot wrong and a lot corrupt in Congress. In your opinion, if you were to get there, what would be your top three items that you would like to see changed in Congress? Okay, so the question was, what was the, what would be the top three items I would like to see changed? Um, first of all, I would like to see a uh, repeal of the uh, remainder of the stimulus. I'd like to see that first of all, or, or even I like John's idea that he had in his PowerPoint, and uh, I might use that. But uh, about taking it and applying it to the uh, to the deck, I think that was a pretty good idea. Um, another thing that I would like to see done is I would like to see uh, some uh, tax relief uh, for the uh, families um, of the military that have lost an active uh, a military member in active duty. Um, what I would like to see for them is for their immediate family, uh, siblings, parents, uh, sons or daughters, I would like to see a lifetime exemption from uh, all federal taxes for those family members uh, that have lost one in active duty because I feel that they've already paid uh, the ultimate price uh, for their country and giving up a family member. So that, that's uh, two of the things that I would like to see. The third thing I would like to see is uh, the uh, uh, tax system become more friendly uh, to businesses, not such a burden upon them. Uh, well, I'd like to see a reduction in those things uh, with uh, an ultimate goal, which would be a long-term goal of a, doing away with the graduated income tax altogether and replaced with either a, a national sales tax or perhaps a, a flat tax. So here, blue shirt. Uh, if you were to get to DC and uh, you go down there, who, knowing you can't do it all by yourself, who would you talk to or who would you look to to partner up with to try to get things done with if you want to talk with as far as your Congress and Well, a couple people I've talked to that, that I really like is uh, Mike Pence. Uh, for one, uh, he'd be one of the first guys I'd uh, call up. Um, I talked to Steve Lasseret a little bit, and uh, I like some of the things he's had to say. Um, <coughs> of course, you know, most people that uh, love the Constitution are going to say Ron Paul. Uh, I'll clap for Ron Paul, all right. But um, in Ron Paul, I, I like a lot. There's a lot of things that I agree with, and there are some things I disagree with. But you know, that's to be expected. Uh, those are those are some of the people that I, I think I would contact uh, first of all. But, but he made a good point. He's right in saying that we can't do this alone. Because even if we get a responsible uh, representative here in our district, as opposed to the one we currently have, then it's, it's still not going to be one person. It's going to take, it's going to take the uh, activity and the drive from districts uh, throughout the country to um, elect others that want to uh, hold to the Constitution and uh, act in a, in a responsible manner. And that's that's really what it's going to take. Uh, what do you think would be uh, some of the best ways that you would go about in increasing jobs for the state of Ohio? Not just looking at things from an international national basis, but from Ohio. Let's face it, Ohio is technically shrinking in the economy, and we have businesses moving out of Ohio. And what do you feel are the main thrust? of your campaign to reverse that trend and bring businesses back into Ohio and gain jobs so Ohio can become a strong state once again. Mm -hmm. So the question was, what, what could we do to, uh, from the federal level to make Ohio uh, more sound as far as uh, the economy? Um, Ohio, if you look at it, is, is traditionally a manufacturing state. And unfortunately, 
from the federal level.